Hey guys, I hope you're doing super well today. So this might be like a little bit of a strange video because I am doing two sketchbook tours, but I've finished neither of these. So I think that sometimes I don't put up enough varied content. So instead of doing one sketchbook tour when I'm done with like a sketchbook, it's better that I do like small updates as I'm working on them. And that way you guys can see what I'm currently, where my mind is at at that moment instead of like a year or two later. Like that makes no sense to me. So maybe I'll do like every third month a little sketchbook um, collage tour. So these are my art journals. This is... Uh, it's Warrior Cats. This is the first English book that I ever received actually, but I do collages with it and this is my sketchbook. So yes, I think I'll start with the collage thing. So obviously when I open this, the light is going to change. I hope you guys don't mind too much. Um, so I really like, uh, I used the made a pocket of this first page and I really like using like a blackout poetry. I think that's really fun. And this is just like an overview guys, so don't take things like too seriously or anything. Um, this is just for me to relax. Oh yeah, and this is the map that's inside Warrior Cats. More Warrior Cat stuff. I never actually finished this book. Yeah, cooler stuff. Um, these are actually quite old, but this one says in Swedish, age, I am never done. Yeah, and I think my poetry stuff is actually quite nice. And I wish you guys could like see more of it, but this is the extent of what it is. Yeah, most of the stuff that I'm doing is quite like melancholy but I just uh, it's much more for me and for me to relax than for everyone else collaging is just something I was not that long ago got into so collaging for myself and not for um, this one says is ugly uh, in Swedish <laughs> something that I'm like working on that I want to get better at but it's just like a work in progress I guess I think this might be like my favorite page here. It says foot and soil. And I also really like these um, collage things that I did. Uh, I can be quite poetic when I try. Oh yeah, this is from like um, the Swedish comic book Vey, I think. I really like these illustrations. They're so like peaceful and nice. Even though she's like almost dying. Uh, yeah, here I remember this day. I was totally not in touch with who I was as a person sort of thing and I remember I couldn't really find any colors that matched and it was like too matchy and sometimes when you do collage it's nice to do like opposite stuff like it's too much the same uh, sometimes and this one I was like really lost for some reason uh, yeah I think it's really nice just using doodles, lines, it could be anything these are just small like boxes of nothing but it just makes things seem nice yeah this one is just nothing yeah, I guess I was sort of lost here. This is like recent stuff I've done. Um, here I blacked out everything except words that have to do with scent and smell. Oh yeah, and I got a... I'm subscribed to this like nature magazine. So a lot of these are from like nature magazine stuff. Uh, this one's quite funny because this one's like back, neck, duck. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah, and that's how far I've gotten. Almost 50 pages. But I have uh, ripped out a lot and used it for different things. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, this is definitely still my favorite page. I also really like this one um, because of the road thing. And here I use the picture and I cut out the sentences. I'm hard time finding my words today. This totally reminds me of like a a daughter song. I don't know why. Just the mood, I guess. So that's that. And let's jump onto my sketchbook. This I actually started. I only had it for like three months or something like that. So. This is quite new. Here I was just trying out these Tomo brush pens that I've got. Uh, I really like writing stuff, reflections and things even though like this is not a great art thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this was actually a tattoo idea I had. I was at this lecture, the Conference of Human Consciousness and Evolution, I think. And I really like this as a tattoo because it's like, like we try to control everything as humans and our minds and everything and I wanted to have like a tattoo where nature always takes over sort of thing and it is in everything we are nature and nature is us kind of and how we always try to fight it but it's always gonna like penetrate our cages and our walls and stuff so I don't know I really like this concept this I added because it was actually empty page that was quite recent oh yeah and this is definitely not my il illustration I just wanted to say um, I just took a cut out uh, here was actually tattoo ideas I really want to get this as a tattoo it's liquid luck from Harry Potter and I dedicated this to like the liquid luck thing and then this to 
Love Potion, even though I'm definitely not going to get that as a tattoo. Then I did some wolf sketches. Uh, I also want to throw out there that if you want to follow me uh, on Instagram, you can see like all my current process. I put it up on my Instagram story a lot. This was a drawing of a child with big eyebrows. I saw this artist, I don't remember where, if it was YouTube or Instagram, who did a lot of thick eyebrows. And I decided to try it out. And actually it looks quite nice, I think. Um, this was like a intuitive painting idea I had where I would just do draw with loads of markers and see what I could make out of it. But it looks like complete crap. Here I was trying to draw feet and bodies and I'm not great at it. So just something I really need to practice. The blue and red are kind of nice together. Oh yeah, here I was trying to like make characters and stuff, but it was like completely fail because I was sitting at the bus and the bus kept shaking and I was like, I can't draw, <laughs> there's no idea, but I quite like this one. Um, this is Zebra and all those colors. Well, this was some fan art, fan art concepts I tried for Nevernight, but it didn't really work out. Uh, snow leopards, oh my god, someone said I would should draw snow leopards um, on one of my animal drawing things and wow they are so beautiful like just because you can go online right now search snow leopard snow, snow leopard on pinterest and google like do yourself a favor it's awesome uh yeah this was really shit drawing day i just wanted to draw but i just everything i did did just didn't want to do it whatever i wanted it to do so i just drew houses instead um yeah more snow leopards this is just children um, this was like some concepts that, uh, concepts I played with for my bullet journal and this was like sort of a drawing of just a girl that I tried experimenting with only using one color. These are Tombow brush pens and I thought it was really fun so I continued doing that in the next page. This was just Christmas doodles that I actually copied from Pinterest just because I thought it was nice. And a vase. And this was also like just random stuff. Yeah, so this is really nice. I really like this one. It actually really fits my decorations for today. Yes, Asian dude. So this is like a th thing I also tried sometimes. I feel like drawing, but I have so many boundaries about like it has to look nice and stuff. So this one I literally just drew lines and just did whatever just to do it. Because art is for me essentially not how it turns out being. It's just the process of it. So yeah, this is absolutely nothing, but I think that's it. Oh yeah, also this page. This page I did recently. Oh, in January, actually. This is a drawing that I made a long time ago, but it was in a long another sketchbook that I don't really want to use. And this was like the only good drawing in it. So I cut it out, put it in here, um, did some just like paper cutouts, and did some like strange drawings inspired by this. And I thought it really turned out well, like the whole like concept of it, even though it's not great technique. <laughs> if that makes sense, I think that's it. Yeah. So that's it. Those are my sketchbook uh, updates so far. I think this is better because if I was going to do a whole of this, whole of this, like it would be such a long video. But this way I can talk a little bit more about it. So if you have any questions or want to talk to me in the comments, I would absolutely love that. Go to Instagram if you want to daily updates, not daily, weekly art updates. I guess you can follow me and I can look at your art if you do a lot of art. Um, so I hope you guys all have a brilliant magical day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.